Hey, this is Tom with Harborside Marine and Yacht Sales in beautiful Clinton, Connecticut. Today is going to be a special episode of Stem to Stern. I'm going to do a rapid fire rundown of every single sea hunt we have on the property. So let's go check it out. The first boat we're going to be checking out today is the 2019 Sea Hunt 225. Uh, much like the rest of my videos, I'm going to be using uh, car analogies to explain what each boat is. Uh, today I'm going to be using Ford truck analogies. That's not a comment on brand. I know it's controversial between you Chevy and Dodge guys. So uh, this boat is a lot like a Ford Ranger. So it's small, compact, but nimble, perfect for inland waterways, out on the sound. It's got everything you need and nothing you don't. It's just a simple, honest boat, but it looks cool and it goes fast. Um, we have the bench sheeting across the back here with all removable cushions, as you can see. And what's nice is that all of these are identical, so you don't have to worry about trying to line everything up. You have your batteries and master switch live in there. You have a circulating live well in there. And then over on this side, you have bucket storage. And underneath also gives you access to your bilge area. Um, so as with all of the hardtop sea hunts, it has the misters built in, which is really phenomenal on hot days. It's like outdoor air conditioning. Uh, also, because of that, you have a fresh water tank that gives you a fresh water wash down. You also have a salt water wash down, so if you're out fishing and get the boat all bloody in guts, uh, you can hose it down without using up all your fresh water. This boat has the uh, leaning post, and you have a flip up and down footrest here, as well as a foot pad down here. Uh, this boat is specked out in Carolina blue with the black powder coat, which I think is a really, really sharp combination. Looks very uh, cop like. Uh, in fact, if you're a local uh, police or fire department and would like a boat for whatever you need to do, please contact us. I'd love nothing better than to put some decals on this thing, some flashy lights, some horns, Gatling gun, whatever, you know. Uh, we, we really appreciate our first responders and would really like to help you to help us. So um, up at the helm station here, we have a 9-inch Garmin. You have your Yamaha screens. And over here, you have your JL Audio. Uh, as with most of the sea hunts, uh, this boat has JL Audio with six speakers on board, two aft, two forward, and two in the T-top. Nice thing with modern electronics is they all are on the same network, uh, which means everything can be controlled from your one Garmin MFD. So all of your engine stuff, all your stereo stuff, everything can be run on one screen, which is really convenient. Um, if you swing around up forward here, you have a nice big forward seating area. Underneath, you have storage on both sides on gas shocks so you don't smash your fingers. If you notice down in the corner there, you have a drain, and those drain directly overboard and not into the bilge, so you're not overworking your bilge. Also, all of the lockers on board are insulated, so you can use it as a fish box or a cooler. Uh, on this side, even though it's a little 22-foot boat, you do have a head area. Um, on this boat, it's a porta potty but um, you can also see in here, all this is removable, and that's one of the main features I like about Sea Hunt, is these boats are actually designed to be worked on, which is huge. Um, a lot of boats aren't designed to be worked on. These ones are, uh, even if you're not doing the work yourself, if you're taking it to a yard, the yard's gonna spend less time working on it because it's easy to take apart, which is gonna save you money in the long run. So uh, I think that's most of the rundown on this boat, so let's go check out the next one. and welcome to the next boat on our whistle stop tour of Sea Hunt land. Uh, now we are on the 234 Ultra. This one is specked out in a fetching titanium gray and white powder coat. Uh, they call it titanium gray, I call it battleship gray. It's very navy-like, I kind of like it. Uh, much like her younger sister, or smaller sister should I say, uh, the 234, it's just a little bit beamier, a little bit longer. Um, similar layout. Um, but this boat does have the kingfish rod holders. It has the hull matching powder or, um, gel coat on the underside of the T-top. And uh, again, it's just a really nice boat. Same features as the, as the previous blue boat. It's just more. Uh, I think that's about it. So let's move on to the 235 Ultra. 
All right, and welcome aboard the 235 Ultra. This is when things really start changing for the better. Um, so this boat is the exact same hull as a 234, but it has a lot more goodies on it. So say, you know, like I said, the 225 was a Ranger. The 234 is like a base model F-150. This is like an F-150 Platinum. This has all the bells and whistles, all the goodies. Um, this boat has a side door. So when you're at the dock, you can just flip the side door open. Makes it easy to get on and off if you got older knees, dogs, gear, whatever. So that's real nice. Um, unlike the 234, the 235 has this mezzanine seating area. So you have the seats here, but you also have this bench sheet here with a fish box in there. And then for added comfort and maximum lounging, you have these flip up footrests, which are very nice. Um, moving up forward, uh, instead of the 9 inch chart plotter, we now have a 12 inch chart plotter. We now also have a 250 Yamaha instead of a 200. You have the digital Yamaha command link and as always the JL audio. And like I said before, because these are all networked together, everything talks and you can run everything from the one touch screen. Um, also up above, on, as, uh, as usual, you have the matching Garmin VHF radio to go along with it. This boat is in a very fetching tropical Abaco green with matching underside of T-top. Uh, so it's just a, a very fresh looking boat. Uh, up forward, we have this big forward seating area. Obviously the cushions aren't on it right this second. But again, gas shocks. You have the drain down there that goes directly overboard instead of into the builds like on all the boats. Uh, as I mentioned before, all of the lockers are um, insulated so that you can use it for either fish or or storage or beer or whatever you like um, and in here just like on the other boat well there's cushions in there right now but there's also a head in there uh, so that's it for the 235 so let's move on to our last boat the 255 all right and welcome aboard our last boat of the day this is the 255 ultra uh, it is in steel blue with the white powder coat, and as you can see, it's got the tan interior. Looks very, very sharp. Um, so this is, again, a step up from the 235. We now have a 300 instead of a 250. We have the 12-inch Garmin chart plotter. Um, you have a little bit more beam, a little bit more length. Uh, this boat, if you come on forward, a very civilizing feature for the wife and kids is it has a proper toilet porcelain head with holding tank. It also has a Y valve and a macerator, so if you're offshore, you can pump it straight overboard. Up forward, again, on the comfort front, you have these lovely contoured chaise lounge cushions. You have this middle filler section as well, and a beverage center. Uh, the center section and the beverage center all clip up out of the way, so if you and the boys want to go out fishing, you can take all these cushions off, you can take these backrests off, strip her down and go out for fishing. Don't have to worry about wrecking up the cushions. Uh, up forward, you have your anchor locker. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, again, being a, one of the larger ultras, it has the, the mezzanine seat in the back. It has a flip-up footrest. And uh, this boat also does come with the ski tow bar, so you can go out water skiing, wakeboarding, all that kind of stuff. All right, and one last thing I also did want to mention before we go is all of our 2019s that we still have in stock on the premises, we're doing a uh, end-of-season blowout so we're giving a lot of extra incentives so if you buy one of these boats you're going to get free radar you're going to get free quick launch for the rest of the season you're going to get free first year of winter storage and we're also selling all of our trailers at dealer cost so it's a screaming deal um, and you guys should really come check out these boats so i think that's it for today on stem to stern if you like this video uh, please like, subscribe, comment. If you want to see a different kind of video, let me know. Uh, if you guys weren't liking and commenting, then I'd just be some crazy guy shouting about boats on the internet. So uh, let me know what you want to see, and we'll make it happen. Um, but until next time, hopefully, I'll see you guys out on the water.